Mystery, How Do You Feel? That's the band, Mystery. CBT guitar lesson for Jay. New band for me as well as you. You meaning Jay. A um, little bit of like Dream Theater meets Queensryche meets Sticks. I don't know how to pinpoint it, but it's really a beautiful song. The tuning is standard for this. It's uh, based around F major 7 and C major 7, which are kind of jazz chords. And I love them when they're mixed in you know, like a rock setting. So F major 7, you can also call it one of the Stairway to Heaven chords. 3, 2, 1, open, starting on the D string. Here's your strum. Now make sure you're muting underneath the string 5 here. But it's a long strum pattern. Down, rest, down, down, up, down, 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 up. Two times. So your pattern, if you just want to focus on the strum, you can mute the strings and just go... Because that's repeating over the next chord, which is C major 7. 3A, 2D, and then you got three opens underneath that. I'm going to mute underneath string 6. Two times through. Then you're going to go back, repeat all that. Okay, and then it drops down to the next line. You go back to F major 7, twice through. A minor 7 comes up next. This is how it kind of wraps up the section. And it's open A, 2D, open G, 1B, and 3E. You can think of it like, if you want, an A minor, um, but adding the pinky to 3E, lifting your ring finger up. It could be played like this, but they're doing it with that open G instead of the A note. Now the strum here, it's interesting. I missed it when I did the intro to this video, as far as the strum, but it's just down, 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 up, times three, which is going to sound like this. Then you go to G major, three, two, open, 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 three, and do the same strum, which is just three times on the A minor seven, one time on the G. Using the awkward fingering, but look, I'm almost there, right? I've got the pinky where it needs to be. This can just come up, drop, bring that up there, and lift that off. Just easier. That's why there's not only one way to play a chord as far as fingering goes. It depends on the other chords that are coming up. It goes back, repeats everything. Uh, well, section 1A, three times, no star. It doesn't do the the uh, A minor 7 and the G and the F major 7 prior to that. Um, then the solo comes in. Now there's three or four solos in this. I kid you not. Um, the first one comes in at a minute 31. Real melodic most of this. And it's 5 slide 7 D. 5, 7, G, bend, hold, release, and then pull off to 5. And then 7, bend, vibrato, rest, slide. So you have... Then we're going to go like this. Middle finger, 7, G, slide, 9. Thought that was really super melodic. 7 slide 9, 8B to 10E slide 7, and then vibrato. So the notes are indexed to 7E, half step bend release, and then 8, 9, BG. Three hammer five on the B, and then pick six, and then five hammer six. I'm going to use the index, and then seven slide five on the G. Seven G slide nine. Oops. To seven D vibrato. Okay, 
minute 49 in, we've got ninth fret G slide to 12. And then 15B bend, hold, release. So it's 12B G vibrato. 12B twice, bend, hold, release. Half step there. Need this note. And then 14 G D. Vibrato. End it with 12. Slide 14. Slide 10. Vibrato. Then you're back to repeats. Um, next new part is actually the second solo at 2 minutes 57 seconds in. It starts with an F power chord. Okay, um, then you got 15B. Just gonna kind of run through these riffs, I think, for you, because there's a lot of soloing. And if there's something crazy, we'll, we'll break it, break it down and focus on it. It goes... Once again. Here's the next one. Well, we gotta turn, turn the page over. I think he does a fast run here. Yeah. 7G bend, 8C. And then 5B, so. 8 pull 5B. And then repeat it. 7G bend release pull 5. And then 7D, so it's. Slow down. Then go. Five hammer seven pull five slide four all on the G. So you have um, then you'll go real melodic. Oh, you had mentioned David Gilmore, and I hear some of that in this solo too. Three minutes ten seconds in. Paul mutes these first three notes. Five seven A five D, and then we got that. So here's the next uh, riff. Alternate pick. Paul mute the first two notes. Here it is. Once again. Then we have. Then we have. That tens in parentheses because it's the downbeat. Now check this out. We're going to go. some chords here before another solo comes in and this is really cool I love the the tone of it it goes Three twenty-seven in, but anyways, before we get to that, start on the eight or the A string. Go eight, the pinky, seven D, five G, six B, and go A D G B E four times. And then open A, seven D, nine G, eight B, and do the same thing on the strings. Three times on this. Then you'll go ten, seven, nine, eight, and open. So I just forgot to write the, the three times on that second chord. Okay. Then eighth fret, this is just like the first one we did. Oops. Three times though. Then 
interesting. 5A, 7D, 5G. I use my index as a bar, but I push it out because we need it for the high E string. But we also need the middle on 6B. Same strings and everything. So you're coming off. Just one time through. And then uh, C major, 3A, 5th fret, D, G, and B. I use two fingers to do that. And then we need three on the high E. The picking on this goes A, D, G, E. Rest, and then hit the B string on the 5th fret four times. All right, that's it for clean. Then we got the, I think the last solo here. And it's more just main, mainly like melodic stuff. It goes. And then we have this. All right, top of page four. Four minutes and ten seconds in. that one more time my bad let me do it again then we have this four seventeen go twelve hammer fourteen D and the rest of this is on the G. 12, 14, 12, 12, hammer 14, pull 12, pick 12. It's a lot of 12, 14s, but here's, here's what it sounds like. Let me do that again. And then. Now, the song ends there, but there's a secondary guitar at the beginning that I really wanted to show you because I thought it sounded really cool, and it's just layered in there. Um, what you have, oops, that don't sound like clean, there we go, 7D third finger, 6G middle. times then you do the same thing but move it up two frets it just goes back and forth between the two I wanted to throw that in there because I just it's clever, the note choice, how they how they utilize it by just moving a shape, a whole step, not changing anything except the fretting. So, killer song, uh, good band. I'm going to check out some more of this band, Mystery, How Do You Feel? <laughs>